Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Gates. So, Brandy Glanville, how do you end up on Famously Single? Walk me through this whole process. This must have been quite a journey for you. You know what? It, you know, my life has been kind of living out loud in front of cameras for the past seven years. So, I am single, and I thought this is an opportunity to find out what I'm doing wrong and why not do it. You know, it's easy, great network, and I, I was, I'm ready for love. I was just talking to Darcy, who you were just talking to, who might be the sweetest woman on the planet. The smartest woman in the world. How did it change your perspective? Because it's one thing to go into a house with eight different people, because it's a reality show, but you had a professional there who knows what they're doing. How did it change your perspective and your mentality? You know what, with Darcy, and, and no, I've had therapists in the past, but she really honed in immediately on what I was doing wrong. And I already, I kind of knew it in the back of my head, I needed someone to tell me. And when she said it, I was like, oh my God, you're so on point. And we connected immediately. Um, I had you know, a hard time in the house at first because some of the girls were not overly lovely, but they also were coming after her. And I'm, I'm always, I always say it for the underdog. Like, I have children, you don't get to treat people poorly. Um, I know people see me on um, House Eyes and they think, crazy drunk chick you know <laughs> who says the f word and that is part of me let's not be let's not be that's not why um but there's a whole other side of me and i i wanted to show people that and i was hoping i could i wasn't sure if i could but darcy really honed in on the fact that i have a masculine energy and i need to I always have to be the boss and be in charge and it's hard for me to be vulnerable so she set up these like very uncomfortable um, homework sessions for me to like have PDA and like to touch like do this like when I hug I hug for a second and then I'm like okay don't touch me like that's me and it was funny even when I got here Callum was like I hugged him I haven't seen him since we wrapped but he was like hug a little longer because I was like hi hi because he knows me so well so You've, your life has been lived in the public. Obviously, yeah. there's been tabloid stuff and all the other stuff. How is that tough for you when you have to go into a private setting, dating with somebody? They obviously have a preconception of you. Is it tough to sometimes battle that preconception? How do you walk into that type of situation? It is really hard, honestly. Um, before I was on reality TV, after my divorce, I was dating and I was doing fine. And then once I was on reality TV, there was either guys that wanted to date me because of the show or guys that wanted to date me and wouldn't because of the show and um you know we've i've learned it, it's tough for them and i get it like anyone that dates me and we, we go in public if we're photographed together they immediately get housewives questions and it's not just reality tv it's just housewives specifically and it's hard for a lot of people to deal with that and like even going on two dates if we're out in public my friend that i dated just for a couple times is like it's been six months since we dated. I'm still getting questions about you. I'm like, you took me to a movie premiere. We didn't even walk the carpet. It's your fault. Like, I warned you ahead of time. Like, the, you know, you know, the fans are amazing for Housewives. But it is a phenomenon. And it's something that anyone that dates me is going to have to deal with more than any other reality show I do. You know, I've done The Apprentice. I'm doing a cooking show right now. But, and, and famously single, obviously. But Housewives is just this pop it, it culture you. it's crazy it and, it, and that, you. yeah yeah you know that question and the question about Eddie and Leanne they'll never go away and it's hard for guys to take and I can take it because I've been doing it for seven years and I just kind of like you know get through it um and they're just like wow it just never stops are there ever points for you where you just wanted to shut off though like do you just want the privacy um there are points for people around me that I wanted to shut off. Not for me, because I'm fine with it. I've, I have I live my life out loud. I've written two books. I put everything about my life in those books. I'm you know an open book. I, I, I say what I want to say when I say it, but the people around me, I feel sorry for sometimes. And I feel like I wish that they could escape the Brandy talk or the housewives talk. And I, it, it hurts. It hurts because I, I, I feel for them. When you look at your career moving forward, what do you hope next? What's the next hope, both personally and professionally? You know, I think after Famously Single, I really, I would like to find a partner. I would like to be in love. 
and I'm still working with Darcy, and she's been so amazing. She loves you. She was just over here. They were taking pictures. I'm like, she genuinely cares. No, she does, and that's, uh, but that's amazing. That, you know, you want to fill that with your therapist. We check in all the time. You know, she's here in New York. Speaking of New York, as you can yes. hear, we're in New York. There are sirens right now. Yes. We're at the Dream Hotel, and you can't not have sirens. No, here. it's New York. It's New York. You, got, you have to. Um, she, I respect her so much. And she's no bullshit. Like, she will tell me, this is what you're doing wrong. And I need someone in my life to do that because a lot of people dance around it and don't want to say it to me because they know that I'm combative or they think that I might take it wrong. I appreciate honesty. And um, I really am learning so much from her. And it, it's going to be an ongoing relationship for probably the rest of my life. 